nobody comes into this house nope. without paying the price. Not here, not ever! It is that time once again, MBL Live, back live on the MBL Network. I am your network director, Nick Mazesco. We've got some MBL action here from season 53. Are we in 53? This is how long we've been doing it. we got the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Tennessee Titans. Hope you all are having a wonderful evening. It's a beautiful weekend. And we are going to get the Baltimore Ravens starting off with the ball first. I mean, this team has been a juggernaut in the MBL for quite some time. First and 10. They got Lamar Jackson still at the helm in this Baltimore offense. Ankrum, the young halfback at the running back position. It will be Ankrum with the first carry. And he will pick up nothing. Really good interior line defense by the Tennessee Titans. A second down. Jordan in the chat. Miller in the chat. Sal in the chat. Good to see everybody. Hope you all are doing well. Baltimore offense goes back to work. Currently 5-0 atop the AFC is Lamar Jackson. Is back to pass. He is rolling right. A little playmaker action, and he will find Gabriel. And Gabriel out of bounds at the 42-yard line. First down, 17 yards. That's what Lamar Jackson brings to this team. It is nothing but firepower. An accurate arm that can then move outside the pocket. And he finds Cole Gabriel for the catch. The rookie out of TCU, third round pick. And back to work goes the AFC leading Baltimore Ravens. No surprise to see Zay Flowers getting a catch out of Boston College. Picking up another first down. This Baltimore offense rolling early. What's up, Biso? Ankrum with the carry. They'll pick up a couple. Joe Ankrum, their halfback, their rushing leader right now. Another third round rookie. Southern Miss Golden Eagle. Not a lot of players out of Southern Miss in the NBL. So good to see a school that's typically a little strong in uh stronger in basketball than they are in football. Just here to not watch to watch Uran not say GG's. We can guarantee that one. As over the middle, there's Rashad Bateman out of Minnesota, picking up a first down and inside the red zone. Right, listen, if, if the NBL Sportsbook was putting out a bet on uh, on chances, Ura says GG, it's about minus 500, it's no. First down and 10. Burnett making the tackle for the Tennessee defense, but back to pass is Lamar, and he will find for the first time Mark Andrews, so... As we see, one of the offensive linemen, Charlie Evans, goes down. We've seen, what, four completions to four different receivers already. Brad, what's up? Where's Bomber? He had to run to the grocery store. Get some milk. He'll be on in a little bit. A little bubble screen action. Cole Gabriel once again. Not a whole lot of room out there. Take a look at the stats on this team. Mark Andrews, Zay Flowers, Rashad Bateman, Cole Gabriel, and Joe Ankrum all came in. Uh, with, uh, well, Ankrum at nine, but everybody else coming in with double-digit reception. So this team does spread it around, and this is where it gets dangerous. Empty backfield on third and eight. Lamar can definitely take off if he doesn't like what he sees, but he'll throw it quickly, and he throws a pick. It's picked off by Woodard. A slant route from Bateman, and Woodard read it the entire way, and the Tennessee defense gets a red zone stop. JB at the chat. What's up, JB? And now we get to see... This Tennessee offense go to work for the first time. Four and one on the season. Tough throw underneath Chiggy Aconquo with the catch. Dylan Church at quarterback, second year player out of Washington. is a fourth round pick and boy, they've really developed him nicely so far. Church goes under center. Two tight ends, two wide receivers. Off the early red zone turnover. 
And it is a handoff. That is their young halfback. Just the second-year player out of Pittsburgh. Israel Abanaconda. That's what we're going with. Abanaconda with the carry. That sounds better than Abanaconda. So we're going to go with Abanaconda. Well, three wide set, one tight end, and it's going to be Abanaconda with the carry one more time. Not a lot of room right side. Set up a third and three. See if they go to the ground again. It looks like they're going to come out. Trips tight end flex. And the Baltimore defense matches them a little dime look. There's Dylan Church in the shotgun. Trips over to the left side. And it is going to be handoff to Abanaconda. He's got a first down and more to the 35-yard line. Great call on third and three. Utilizing that ground game out of that shotgun formation. And they're going to go back to the single back deuce close. One of my personal favorite formations. Two tight ends, two wide receivers. And it is now offered into the game. As he will take it for a short game. We see Jose Costa go down on the defensive side. Uh, that's Marcus Offord. A little two-headed monster. He's the second-year player out of Georgia. Fifth-round pick developing nicely. Ooh, 94 speed. Good Lord. Good Lord. He is quick. Second and nine. Church back to pass. Pressure out of the middle, but it looks like it's good. Oh, it's a screen pass, and that one could have been picked. Dangerous throw there. Lucky that one didn't come down to the defender's hands. Perfectly read by this Ravens defense, which has been stout here in this NBL campaign. Now third and nine. Two wide to the right side, one over to the left side. A Conquo with the lone tight end. And it looked down the middle of the field. And it is indeed caught and then fumbled. And it's there for the taking. And Shelby will scoop it up for the Ravens. One turnover each way so far. Shelby return that to the 46-yard line. Devin Hankins with the catch. But then the peanut punch to pry that one free. Devin Hankins, the rookie out of Oregon State. First round pick for this Titans team. And you never want to see your first round pick putting the pigskin on the ground. So, all turnovers, all the way. And there's the halfback, Ankrum, with the catch to the 21 yard line. Yeah, Jordan, it certainly looks like that. A first down and 10. And Lamar Jackson goes back to work. You know, four wide. And he looks at the corner out to Zay Flowers. Big hit, but he holds on through the contact to the one yard line. Amherst, Mass, stand up for your man. Zay Flowers puts the Ravens in business. Can they avoid another red zone turnover? Or blame Poodle? Did Poodle give him all these players? Is that, is that what happened? Shotgun formation. Why not give it to Joey Ankrum? And Ankrum not going to find the end zone. He's tackled just shy. Maybe gets a half yard. That should take us to the second quarter. Scoreless here in this NBL Week 6 action. Second and goal. He's going to go to the pistol formation. A little read option. And well read by this Titans defense. Lamar didn't want to hand it to the fullback. Instead, he said, I got this myself. And all he got was Jeffrey Simmons taking him to the ground. Third and goal. Two tight ends over to the left side. Two wide receivers right side. Looks like they're setting up a screen here. Can the Titans diagnose? He's stuck behind the wash. Ankrum avoids the tackle, and he's into the end zone. Kind of a mess of a play both sides, but Joe Ankrum finds the house, and the Ravens are on the board first. Well, a tackle should have been made, but that's what Ankrum brings to the field. 
a little bit of agility, and a whole lot of speed. And Baltimore takes a 7-0 lead. As the kick is away, Justin Tucker. That man will never go away. Offered. Take this about eight and a half yards deep. And he will return this nowhere. He gets met by a Mack truck to the 16-yard line. Oh, we get to see how the Titans respond. They were moving the ball effectively, but the fumble from the rookie wide receiver really derailed the entire drive. After getting a stop in the red zone, you got to feel like Urell's not feeling happy about that one. Church going to give it off. Body Conda. Tackled by Derek Nanati. Maybe two yards over that left side. Hope everybody's doing well. We are going to have a lot more MBL lives. MCS season is over, so it means MBL season is just beginning. So make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you smash that follow button. You're here each and every time. We got another uh, MBL live coming up tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern time right here. Week 7 action. Here from the MBL. Handoff. Abani Kanda. First down and more. Great juke move outside. Looking for the peanut punch again. But Abani Kanda holds on and picks up a first down to the 30. Outside juke move. So dangerous. First time we'll see the Titans go to I form. It is Offered at the top of the eye. There's going to be a stretch left side. Nice patience there from Offered. Waiting for his blocks to get set. He'll pick up four. That could have been a loss. The, it looks like the Ravens had that well covered. As Offered stays down on the play. We'll see if he's hurt. Maybe just a stinger. Maybe pause back up. Looks like he's walking around. A body kind of back into the game. On the right hip. As Dylan Church drops back to pass, plenty of time, has a man, open over the top, it's Abani Kanda, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, tries to get past the defender, he will get all the way down to the three-yard line, great read from Dylan Church, but when he is as open as a 7-11 on a Saturday night, it's going to be easy to pick up big yards, the halfback, wide open. Can't put a linebacker on speed like that, little too tight end, too wide formation, look for the bubble screen here, and you do see... Marlon Humphrey out there on the slot receiver. Let's see if they change up the play, change up the look. They're just going to go straight handoff. And guess what? Roquan Smith is there to say, nah. No, 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 no. We're not going to make this easy for you. Bubber got to settle for a field goal. <laughs> Damn, slam. Second and goal. Another tight Y off flex. Ravens counter with a little B-nog. A body count in the backfield. It's Derek and Nadi. Oh, my. Was that a little 0-1 trap run? Because that block, that pulling guard, just chipped Nanadi, and Israel, Abani Kanda, finds the end zone. Yep, a little 0-1 trap action. He picks up his seventh touchdown of the year off the big catch. It's only fair that he gets to finish off the drive. And with this extra point being up, and good, we got a tie ball game. Also, I would just like to point out, because I need everybody to just razz them in chat. Uh, uh, Bomber said he was running to Costco. He'd be there 10, maybe 15 minutes. I've never been to Costco in my life for 15. I don't care if the Costco is next door. I'm not getting out of there in 15 minutes. Well, back to work goes the Baltimore offense. Only Lamar's second game dealt with an injury early. <laughs> I'm just saying, October. Ankrum on the left hip of Lamar Jackson. Lamar will keep it. Stay outside, cuts back inside, takes a hit, but he'll pick up eight on the play. I Listen, if he had said it was, it was just running to the gas station to get milk, uh, yeah, sure, 10, 15 minutes, whatever. Costco? Takes 10 minutes to check out. Second and two. Oh, look for Andrews. Oh, good adjustment there. 
from Burnett. He'll look underneath, and Gabriel makes the catch. He'll pick up the first down, but Cole Gabriel stays down on the play. Is that AFC North hell, by the way? Every time I look, it looks like that, that division is absolute hell. Lamar back to pass. Waiting, looking. He's looking deep down the field. That pass is going to end up short. He's lucky it did. There's a lot of coverage over the top. The pressure able to get to Lamar. Which dead eye does he have? Roaming? Empties the backfield. Got to keep an eye on Lamar in these sort of plays. Underneath, he'll find for the first time. He finds Thomas underneath. Markel Thomas, the third string tight end. Now third and three. Goes back to that empty set. Little zigger out from Zay Flowers. Ooh, Zay Flowers got baptized. It was like it, it was church out there. Amen. Two minute warning. That's probably not real big. He might have. He might have pocket dead eye. That'd just be a weird ability for Lamar to unlock. Back to pass four man rush over the middle. And look at this dink and dunk offense go to work. Find Zay Flowers once again. Flowers having a big game. I believe that's his fourth catch. No look dead eye. Sure. Why? Why not? <laughs> I don't. I, how do you know where he's looking? But tell me. Tell me. Three wide to the right side, one to the left side. Joe Ankrum in the backfield. He is going to give it to Ankrum. Not a lot of room, but enough to pick up a first down. First down to Ted. A bunch wide. RPO action. He'll go to the out route. Ooh, he finds Juju. That one almost jumped. Then Juju breaks a tackle and picks up a picks up nine to the 26-yard line. It's gonna be a second and a yard. That could have been picked and turned into a nine-yard gain. Ah, it's cross body throws. Sure, sure. Second and a yard. Bunch now to the right side. And he looks up the middle, and there he is. Rashad Bateman makes the catch. And Bateman, after getting absolutely pressed to death like a panini on the last drive, well, two drives ago, when he could not complete. Are we faking it? Oh, my God. We got a fake. We got Mark Andrews. It's caught. It's a two-point conversion. Bateman with the touchdown. Andrews with the two. Baltimore takes an eight-point lead. How about the little razzle-dazzle here on NBA Live? The Stones to call that one from the 15-yard line. Wild. Cougs is a wild man. Empty backfield as Church goes back to work. Three wide to the right side and one over to the left side. As Church, a little jailbreak screen right side. It's caught by Pierce. Pierce outside. First down and more. Woo, boy. Dylan Church. Looks to the speedy Alec Pierce. And Pierce turns a two-yard gain into a big gain. And a former Cincinnati Bearcat. First and ten, under a minute to play the first half. Dylan Church back to work. And he throws it, I mean... Let's start with right out of the fender. Right, I mean, I don't know how that's not going the other way. Luckily, defender didn't see it go over his head. He's second and ten. So that's a good question. Uh, you throw that ball at LA, it's picked every time. <laughs> 55 seconds left. 
Dylan Church back to work. Two wide to the right side, one to the right, left side. Jay Conk with a lone tight end right side of that formation. Does he try to Conk? Oh, oh, Dylan. Oh, Dylan. And a timeout taken by Baltimore. A little cover four drop. I don't know which route he was looking at, but all four of those routes. Kind of bad for cover four. Maybe could have found a Conquo. Yeah, it, it, the, the, it's like when you're so open on a three-pointer, you airball it. Third and 14. How aggressive did the Titans get? Church over the middle. And he finds Johnson. Manny Johnson with the catch. Second-year player out of Wisconsin. Sorry, third-year player out of Wisconsin. Stonehouse will punt this one away. One timeout remaining for Baltimore. And you know how this offense goes. They can score in a hurry if they want to. Flowers will not get a big return. Maybe three yards. See the 11-yard line. Coogs always puts on a show on NBA Live, huh? How about the fake field goal, the fake extra point? I still remember, I think the first or second time I was ever on NBA Live, I faked a field goal. Madden 17. Faked a, faked a field goal to tie. Man open. Dropped it. Pain. Back when it was an offensive lineman running it. Second and short, 18, 17 seconds left. This is going to be a bomb. Looking for the Mandrews. And a good swat. 11 seconds left. Was it 17? It might have been 18. I think it was Madden 18. Because 18, I was the... It was 18. Because 18, I was the Cowboys. 17, I was the Panthers. 18, I was the Cowboys. I think 18 or 19. Good Lord, they all start to run. I think it was 18 was the Cowboys because 19 I was the Falcons. But yeah, perfect fake field goal call against a field goal block. Cutscene. Offensive lineman dropped it. Pain. Third and short. Lamar. The Louisville Cardinal in the shotgun. Bunch over to the right side. Look at that cross. That's an inaccurate pass. He's lucky that one didn't end up picked. It's going to be fourth and short. They're going to have to punt this one away. Bailey with a boot. This will be the final play. I don't even know if he had a juke move there. I think if he had just cut right, he might. He at least would have a chance to take them into the house. But we hit halftime. 15-7 to seven your score. Baltimore with the lead. Will be the Titans getting the ball. Start the second half. See, this Titans offense can find any sort of mojo. First and ten. Church under center. Three wide set in that single back formation. He will give it to Bonaconda. A little hurdle. And he's got some room. He's out to the 40. 45 yard line to the 47 yard line. Israel Bonaconda showing off the moves and a little bit of speed burst gets to the sideline. Another nice play as Chandler takes his first carry of the game. Ty Chandler with the uh, little carry to the right side. So it's a two-headed monster backfield, but really Ty Chandler will get a couple carries. So it's like two heads and an earlobe. Second down to two. Dylan Church back in the shotgun. Three wide receivers. 
It's a man blitz, and he avoids the defender. And Avanti Kanda outside. Great pursuit there. The Graham on the outside. Man, he tried to read the screen again. This time, a better throw from Dylan Church. I thought Avanti Kanda might still be running. But a missed block downfield. I mean, a wild miss. A wild miss. What's up, Bananas? Hope you are well. Church, those are... Right. Yeah, we're just going to ignore that play. Just going to move on. I mean, living dangerously. Second and ten. Yeah, it's safer just to hand this one off. Offered, though, nowhere to go. Third and nine. All I clicked, I just clicked over to Discord for a second, and I see the gif that Rizzi posted, and it's Ryan Reynolds staring into my soul. So I'm shaking. Third and nine. Dylan Church in the shotgun. Got trips over to the left side, solo, total tight end on the right side of that formation. Haven't heard a lot from Chigi Conquo. He's looking for the corner route. That one thrown directly to Gresham. And that's going the other way. And there goes Baltimore's defense making plays once again. That was a one read play from Dylan Church. And that read. That read had no words on the page. That should have been a picture book because he read that horribly. And we're going the other way. Baltimore with their second turnover of the game. Baltimore back to work. Lamar back to pass. Dangerous throw, but just over the defender's heads. There goes Juju. There goes Juju. Inside the 10. Look for the Jerd to the seven-yard line. Big play off the turnover, and Baltimore already in business. Uh, he, went, quote, went to Costco to grab some milk. Said he'd be 10, 15 minutes late. It is 6.35. Hand off to Joey Ankrum. And Joey Ankrum breaking ankles and finding the end zone. Touchdown, Ravens. It's cool. He's run a lot of bonus coverages while I've been uh, while I've been working. So, we Gucci. He he went to get milk and he may never come back. It's twenty twenty all over again. It's twenty two to seven. Jeez, Brad. Good lord. Let the man have his Saturday night. Offered. To the 19. So Tennessee's had a, I mean, has moved the ball effectively against this very good defense. And then two turnovers have really derailed them. Oh, that's another dangerous throw. A nice catch by Bonaconda. Israel Bonaconda out of bounds at the 24 yard. Um, Nightbot not getting them at all. Can't do caps, but you can say that. It's crazy. That's crazy comps. Uh, uh, Isla just uh, just started walking, and um, I had to baby-proof the house quickly. <laughs> Over the middle, he's got Hankins. First down to the 46-yard line. Isla went from not walking to walking in about 45 minutes, and now she's uh, terrifying. First and 10. Gives it to Israel Abani Kanda. A little, a little wind and weave like a mountain road. He'll pick up nine. Luckily, we live in a ranch out here in Arizona, so there are no stairs here. But we're we're moving. <laughs> we're moving uh, back back to, to Michigan, so there will be stairs. So, yeah, that'll be fun. She's going to have a time once she figures out we're in a house with stairs. Also, all the in-laws have stairs, so... You see the flat out there, right? You see the flat. Hey, guys, you see the flat? <laughs> Third and yard. Can you go to Y off trips, Pats? We're in Pats playbook?
Church back to Passia. He was looking for Chiggy, and instead of finding Chiggy, he finds Shelby, and Shelby's getting Jiggy with it. Land the airplane in the end zone. Pick six on the board. You think we're getting GG's? Richard Shelby, 30-year player out of Florida with a pick. Yeah, dude, hey, if, listen, if I don't turn the ball over three times and I don't throw a pick six and I get a stop, I win that game. I was like five plays away from winning. Uh, I would like to take this time, by the way, while I have a microphone and a live audience to apologize uh, to uh, Matt and Dad for um, that game. I'm sorry for the two onside recoveries. Um, that's that's just a it's, it's not cool. Uh, and I felt bad about it at the end. Um, and I kind of felt bad about it while it was happening. So uh, yeah, it, it, yeah, I'm I'm sorry. Uh, I've, I hope you'll forgive me. That that's a stone cold drop, Alec Pierce. I I felt bro like I mean I like like. I was like, yeah, it's, it's one of the few times I've won a game and been like, man, I did, I, I did not deserve that win. I, I played way better, and I just felt, felt, I felt so bad. That's, that's, and I know you say it's just a game, and you're right, but like, dang, it's a game that should have been thrown out the window. <laughs> Third and ten, that's two open post routes. Dylan Church back to pass, four-man rush, quick throw to, oh, okay. So we're just, we're done. Thank you so much for tuning in to MBO Live. I'm going to show anything else right now. It is all bad. Fourth and ten. Post route, post route, post route. Run, I mean, you, once you abandon the run, that's your ball game, right, Jordan? How many times does that happen in our games where it's like you go up and like you're like, oh, that's a nice little, little route to Hank. Hankins has had a big game. First down to the 28. I mean, how many times does that happen where it's like you get down and you're just like, I need to get get back early, so let's throw the ball. And it's like, no, nah, you gotta you gotta stick with the run game. So a pretty pass from Dylan Church. It's been rough. High snap on the draw play, and nowhere to go for a Bonnie Conda. Y'all ever hear that guy, uh, the the preacher man, uh, who? Uh, uh, what was he trying to try? I can't remember. It's like trying to talk to God or trying to channel the Holy Spirit. Every time I say Abani Khan's name, I feel like him. Which I'm, uh, I am absolutely right now going to find the clip. I gotta find this. Today, no. we are gonna. No, we're not. Put we're NBA not play buzzer. Anything. Settle down. Back to pass this church. That was a great read. Is it this guy? We have a pastor here from. Mid That's not him. I, the problem is I got to find, like, Preacher Speaks in Tongues. Aha! It is Kenneth Copeland. I forgot about it being Kenneth Copeland. Oh, man. And uh, give you a chance to raise you. Why is it so laggy right now? Back to pass over the middle. And he finds Darius Slayton to the 8-yard line. Cooks in chat telling everybody he knows the re pre snap. <laughs> End zone touchdown Titans.
and uh, give you a chance to raise your income. Let's see if uh, the territories. Right uh, it's picked. He was read. The Canadian office uh, is. Shamalana. Oh, yeah, here you go. Found it. Yeah, I'm going it's Robert Tilton. For a so, Manda Kalaboho, Masiki, Loboko Ramasa, Kaditan and the Mosoya Lama, Kamba Sotoya. For I would say unto you this day, there's three people. Every time I say a, a Bonnie Conda's name. I'm just getting into a prophetic vein. Mama Moko Solo Robasata. Manda the king did in the bebo someone with a digestive tract problems. Quickly call. Manda the bakasa. Quickly call a miracle for you. Manda Kishin did it was come on intestinal problems. Hit me with the Abani Kanda. Intestinal problems. We see several people being delivered from the Clostomy bag. So Robasoya disability with a child, some type of a learning disability. We've seen many, many uh -huh. children healed. Uh -huh. I'll get this We've any seen money. midgets grow. We've seen uh -huh. arms and legs that stop growing uh -huh. because of growth cells that stop. Manda da basata. I don't make There this. it is. There it is. Every time I say a Bonnie Conda, there it is. There's the money maker. Because the growth cells that stop. Manda da basata. I don't make this stuff up. He doesn't make it up, bro. All right. Well, that only took uh, six minutes of our time. Lamar. Okay. Guys, just let you know, if you send me $200 in the mail, I will cure all your disease. <laughs> Cougs is in chat. This is wild. This is so wild. Hey, Cougs, good to see you, man. Lamar back to pass second and 10. Fourth quarter action. He's got the Mandrews. Mark Andrews to the eight. Oh, my God. He's going for call. Yeah, let's do it. Do Cooks, come on right now. You won't run that tight end screen. You will do it. Damn. Crunchy roll going crazy. Tight end screen. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Should have scored. This is this is wild. Yeah, we got NBA Live coming up again tomorrow night. 8 p.m. Eastern, same time, same place, same dude. Right here, twitch.tv slash MBL Network. Touchdown, Ravens. Is there a QB draw now? You mean like on the field goal? I really, you notice he's in safe now? Yeah. Yeah, he does. All right, chat request. What defense should he call here? In the chat, what defense should Kooks call? 36-13. Engage eight. You don't have engage eight? What are you doing, man? Church, left side. Bro, you just, you you really do have a lockdown, huh? There it is, right there, four, six. Engage eight, go crazy. Oh, you didn't call, you called engage seven. 
You, you, you called engage seven. Yeah, that's what you get. If you had called engage eight, he don't give up the big play, but you called engage seven and audible that guy to a hook curl. Boo, boo this man. First and 10, bunch short side. Thank you. Son has got my back. Is he just really inaccurate? Is the pressure getting there? I hear my daughter. She is not happy about something. Probably she can't have a phone or a remote or something. Or she's just mad that the game is uh, still on. Unclear. Let me know in the chat what you think. Give me one if you think it's because she doesn't have food. Give me two if you think it's because she doesn't have a toy. And uh, give me three if you think it's uh, she's mad that, uh, that this is the performance that she's seen. What's up, Breezels? Church back to pass right up the. S Is he just like really bad free forming? I, I don't know what's happening here. Like he's just missing. Like there's some bad reads out there, but he's just missing throws. Fourth and forever up the seam. Hankins makes the catch. I mean, listen, it's about it's about 33% good throws that aren't going there and 66% bad reads. So that was not a bad throw. It was a bad read. Oh no, to the one. Ice over the what? Yeah, we said empty bunch quads, QB Blast. He was either scoring or he wasn't. 36-15. Titans have... Hey, man. That guy was crazy. Yeah. Wait, hold on. I got you. I got you, Iso. There you go. Did that help? Did that help? Second and forever. Two minute warning. <laughs> church back to pass. Pressure off the left side. And church is just getting scream. Scream and shout and let it all out. Abanakanda. Abanakanda. Shamdabana. This game is gross. Shout, shout out to Robert Tilton, one of the biggest scam artists of our time. Thanks, ISO. Third and forever. Allowed. You, you, STFU got stopped by Nightbot, but Brad just straight out said the F word and it was like, oh, that's cool. Nah, that's allowed. Brad's got, Brad's got special powers in here. We got to fix that. Just slash his tires. Fourth and 12. I said fourth in the ball game. But ball game's kind of been over. And right side. And he's got Chandler. They'd be big tires to slash, Brad. First and ten. And down. Goes. Take him to church. Except, he, well, should we do that when he scores or when he gets sacked?
Nah. No, he cannot. Over the middle. Chiggy Conquo with the catch. And ball is out and recovered. Sure. <laughs> sure. Four, four Ravens dive on them. Dude, if six plays. He would have won. That's what I'm saying. Like the amount of pressure, GG's. Sure. Fumble recoveries in this game are awesome. First and ten. Yeah, that's picked by General Patton. He's 140 years old. Was the pitch necessary? Coots, I need you fr front of the class. Was the pitch necessary? Does Coots just have personal beef? Because this seems personal. Can we get, guys? Guys in the chat, because he's not going to get one from Uruk. Can we get GG's? Can we get some GG's for Coots? Yeah, you're, you're a wild man. Four? Four picks? GG. Can we get some GG's in the chat? We'll make up for the fact that Uraw won't say it. Will Levis comes in just to take the knees. Bananas, thank you, Brad, thank you. Uras already complaining in chat. Everyone go to chat right now and tell him, tell him to shut up. Right now. Go. Go. It didn't matter what I had! It didn't matter what I had! Oof. Oof. Uh, your final score, a lot to a little. Ravens, go to 6-0 on the air. Uh, reminder, again, uh, NBL Live coming back tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Same place. Come back here. Let's have some fun. Uh, chat, uh, I know it's been a while since we have an NBL Live uh, with the uh, MCS schedule, uh, but uh, uh, this was fun. Even though it was a, a, a blowout, uh, an absolute pleasure. It is great seeing all y'all. We were going to have plenty more MBL lives. It's going to be a full schedule. We're going to be like throwing it back. It's going to be like throwing it back to like Madden 19 days. We're going to have a lot of MBL lives, a lot of time. Uh, Palmer, you got anything else to say? I'm bald and I suck. Thanks, Palmer. Appreciate you, man. Chat, you guys have been awesome. I appreciate everybody who tuned in tonight. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Come on back for more NBL Live tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern time, right here at twitch.tv slash NBL Network. For everybody here at the network, I am Nick Mazesco. Enjoy your evening. We'll see you tomorrow night for more NBL Live.